Hello viewers, you are welcome to David on Talk Show and today my guest is Rita Kornholm. Rita Kornholm is from TAC, Tampere Amati Koka Kudos, is it that? No, no, it's TAC Adult Education Center. Oh, sorry guys, I made a mistake in my intro when I was, you know, because I mentioned Tampere Amati Koka Kudos. So it was like wrong, my, 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 my bad, my mistake. Okay. So I apologize for that. But it's, you can let me know, it's what, Tampere Adult something? Tampere Adult Education Center. Okay. Talk shortly. Okay. So, Rita is here finally today to talk to us more about the Finnish language. I mean, and you know, I mean, if you're coming to uh, coming to Finland or if you live in Finland, one of the things that you say to, you know, maybe if you meet a foreigner, you say, oh, the language is so difficult. And I mean, the code, yeah, we know the code is difficult, yeah, but the language is what most people talk about. I mean, me also, I talk about the language, but right now, Rita is here to give us some clarification on how best we can understand this language and, you know, put effort to learn this language. So, Rita, you're welcome to this show. Thanks a lot. I'm it's happy. Very... I'm pleased to have you today. Okay, I'm happy to see you again. Okay, thanks so okay. much. Okay. Can you tell our viewers, I mean, who is Rita? I mean, what do you do? Okay, I'm Rita Kronholm, and... Uh, I have a Swedish last name, but I'm totally Finnish, and I'm Finnish teacher, and I have been uh, teaching over 16 years in that TAC that I mentioned. So, I mean, you have been in Finland, I mean, Tampere, you were born here anyway, in Finland, and yes. the language is, I mean, your mom started speaking to you, your, your parents, Moi, Rita, Kutakulu, yeah, you were, you were, um, you are Pai My mother, you yeah. don't say. <laughs> you are Pai yeah. But Uncle, it's Uncle my Nauka. mother's language. Uncle Nauka, <laughs> yes. 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 Vakiam Ninku Tolisia Maita. Okay, so they say that Suomen kieli on vaikea. Vaikea is so difficult. Maailmassa yeah. tosi vaikea. Yeah, Maailmassa. So difficult. Yeah. The most, uh, one of the most difficult yeah. languages. Yeah. I have heard it often. Okay, so what can, you, what can you say about, I mean, that? Okay, first of all, I can say that this conception, this statement is not based to anything okay though we, we don't have any receipts that uh, research what says that Finnish language is most uh, difficult language in the world okay it's it's something it's 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 some attitude or I don't know what it is okay. but it's not very Difficult language. Okay, I mean, you you say that it's difficult because it's your idea clearly, you know. But what makes it difficult to people who think that it's difficult? What do you think? I think I think that they think it's difficult because we have so many K's. Okay. So declination is quite wide, but it's not so different than, for example, prepositions. So. Um, there are also easy things in Finnish language. Okay. Uh, for example, if I speak or write English, I, I must know how to write it. Okay. We write it differently. Okay. Uh, but Finnish language, you write and speak in the same way. Okay. So uh, pronunciation and writing is same. It's same. Yes. Okay. It's one, one easy thing. Okay. I mean, what what are the common challenges based on your experience as a Finnish language teacher for o, o, almost sixteen years now? What are the challenges that you have come across from students who like you your thoughts before, mm -hmm. or maybe those who, who complain to you about the language? What are the complaints mm -hmm. that they mentioned to you, and how have you managed to help them so far? Um, the challenges are same in learning generally. Okay. So if you don't have motivation. Learning is difficult. Okay. If you're, you have some difficult situation in your life, it of course affects to your learning. Okay. Uh, so it's almost the same in 
generally in learning if you are not used to study okay. if you don't have experience to study other languages it would be difficult at first okay. but you will get to use to it okay thank you <laughs> yes. you are tuning in right now i'm with rita Kong from tac i mean she's an experienced um, finnish language teacher she has over 16 years of experience as a teacher and i'm so happy again to have her here but she has been talking more about you know the language and how um like the structure and everything and how people think this is so difficult language to learn but she has said something else about that that is about the attitude what people think in their mind is not more about the language itself mm -hmm. so but um People who are actually um, like trying to study this language at home. I mean, um, those who are like they they have a job, you know, mm -hmm. and they don't have this kind of like a means to be full time like in the school. Mm -hmm. So, what can you uh, what can you say to them? What advice will you give to them to actually mm -hmm. help them study at home? Mm -hmm. I mean, also if someone will have that ability to pay, mm -hmm. you know. Where, where would you like to, you know, like to advise them to go study, you know, for example, mm -hmm. like that? Okay, uh, of course, we have tens of good Finnish books. Okay. I have two of them with me. Okay, that's true. I can show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, this is Suomen Mestari, and it has four parts. Okay. This is one, and it's to beginners. Okay. And it goes step by step to advanced. Okay. Uh, and it, ha it has also CD, so you can listen. Okay. Uh, this is another one I have with me, Hyvin Mene, and we have tens of good in okay. this book. Onko Hyvin Mene? Uh, this is Hyvin Mene. Onko Hyvin Mene? Minulla Mene And you. <laughs> <laughs> so it means it goes well. Okay. Hyvin Mene. Yeah. Hyvin Mene, so I mean, from the name, Hyvin Mene, it means like it goes well yeah so just from the name i mean can your mind can tell what is all about in the content that okay if you read me everything will be fine <laughs> yes yes it, it's encouraging yeah it yes, it. yes. Yeah. and oh, oh, of course we have a lot of materials a lot of learning pages in net and you will find them uh, I, i'll give you a link yeah. where you can find many many pages okay. but i mentioned kotisuomessa.fi it has a lot of materials okay to different levels do 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 someone have to pay for that no they are they are free free okay and uh, of course you can buy books or you can follow them from libraries okay so we have a good library even in very little villages in finland okay uh, and bigger in, in bigger cities like Tantere or Helsinki, we have many libraries. And if they don't have, for example, this book, you can order it. Okay. So uh, you can buy it or you can borrow it okay. from library. So I mean, I I have to go again with this question. Yes. Because I know you 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 like talked about this before, mm. but I still want to ask. Do you really think that, I mean, people are just being um, like, you just have it in your mind or it's because they are not equally because I know that um, when when I meet mostly Finnish people mm -hmm. and they will always want to speak Finnish with me. And if say, I'm, I mean, sorry, Finnish. they want to speak their English yes. with me. Yes. And if say I'm a learner, you know, I I don't feel encouraged. Don't you think yes. this is also the, the, the reason why people don't want to learn? Like, or you are having issues with the language? Okay, if you are living in Finland, Finnish language is all around you. Okay. So, uh, you can open your eyes op and listen. You, you, you can listen to Finnish everywhere. You can watch TV, you can read papers, newspapers, okay. for example. And you can also talk with Finnish people. Okay. But uh, you, are, you are right. They like to turn it to English because they want to be polite for you. Okay. They want to communicate easily okay. and fast. But you can ask them, please, I must learn Finnish. Please uh, speak Finnish to me okay. so I can learn. Okay. Okay. Maybe they will remember it 
five minutes. Okay. <laughs> Yos tay kun sula on from Malaysia ya sa kaso mo 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 so I, I mean that's that's cool. I think with that you can learn more. And always try to say something in Finnish in when you are shopping or somewhere else. Okay. Uh, I think uh, mm, uh, there is uh, a lot of volu voluntary workers also uh, in Tampere, Helsinki, Turku, almost everywhere. So uh, there are um, possibilities to talk with Finnish people. Okay. And if you have some, if you are interested, for for example, in football, okay, uh, you you will get social contacts. Okay. So you must leave your home good, good and be yes, and go to, to uh, have some hobby. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For yeah, example. Exactly. Yeah. So, so nobody will uh, come to your home. Okay, yeah. No, you must leave your home <laughs> and try to meet people. Yeah, okay, yeah. And yeah. be brave enough to talk to people. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thanks so much for that. Yeah. Um, you have been talking about uh, the Finnish course, um, I mean, not studying the Finnish language, mm -hmm. and how people who, who want to study the language need to be motivated mm -hmm. and, you know, also try to speak with your Finnish friends about mm -hmm. the language and tell them to speak the language. But what about someone who, who lives abroad, who wants to come to Finland? I mean, where can they get materials to study, maybe to prepare, to learn the basics in Finnish? You know? Okay, if, uh, they can start in internet. They yeah. they will find a lot of pages, and I give you a links. Okay. So they can yeah have it okay. after this show. But you know, also those who are in Finland, I mean, they want to to like go to some Finnish courses, and okay. they don't have no okay. way to get information. Okay. So how what would you say to them to advise them where they can get information? Okay, I know about this Tampere area. Yeah. Uh, here in Tampere, there is a very good place called Mainio. Mainio. Okay. Mainio. It's a immigration. Uh, information center okay. in Tampere. They can advise you okay. what kind of courses we we have here okay. and how you can get into courses. Okay. Uh, but you uh, but if you are in a beginner uh, basic level or beginner and you have just come to Finland, uh, always contact. The toimisto. The okay. toimisto means employment and economic development office, okay. and they can guide you a suitable suitable course. Okay, okay. So I mean, if you are coming to Finland or you are you are already in Finland, I mean these places where she mentioned, I'm going to put a link. You know the video that you can check. You know what what thing that we're going to discuss here. The link will be below so you can go there yourself and get those information and study the language for yourself or maybe get help the help that you need for you know for what you're looking for if you're not angry <laughs> and there is also a web page finnish courses Bistek okay finish. there you can find uh, different courses in turku tampere or helsinki unfortunately yeah. nowhere else yo but that uh, Suomen kieli on tosi tosi tärkeä. Sinulta, sinun mieltä. Mutta kaikki ei ole kaikki mieltä, mitä suomen kieli on tosi vaikea. Mutta mitä voit sanoa, joku katso sulle millaisia, ei millaisia, nyt mun suomen, mä yritän selittää. Miten voit Anteeksi, miten voi... Please try again, you will manage. Okei, nyt mulla on stressi, koska opettaja on täällä. Okei, just relax, rentoudu. Joku sanoi, että suomalainen on vaikea. 
ya muda kun ha he asu ba su fa mai su fa mai sa um he tai tu um pu su fa mai ke ali muda ko se de ta he 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 ta eta ta he le eta ta um mixi he vo pu ta mixi ta 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 se ko pia su fa mai okay yo I agree. Joo. Olen samaa mieltä. <laughs> Eli on tärkeää oppia suomea, jos asuu Suomessa. It's very important to learn Finnish if you live in Finland. Yeah. If you want to live a normal or good life, if you want to have friends, if you want to earn your own money, if you want to have some hobbies, for example, you need Finnish language. Okay. And if you understand Finnish language, you will uh, go into our th- way of thinking too. Okay. You can integrate uh, to our culture or understand it, and, and you can understand our way of living here. Okay. Uh, the language is the key, key to our culture. So I really, wa- I really want to say that it's not so I- difficult, but it's so important, important to l- yeah. learn Finnish. Okay, so it's not it's not difficult. It's important to learn Finnish language, and I can agree that it's not difficult because I myself, I mean, I've been learning the language now for one year, and I can see that my my task or my task or my level keep on improving. If say. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I follow this um, step that you just mentioned, yeah, like being motivated, being serious, mm-hmm. and you know, speak, uh, going through uh, through these materials and study mm-hmm. on your own. Mm-hmm. You must be active. active yeah. Yes. Wake yes. up from your bed and meet yes. and get get a hobby for yourself. Yes. yes. <laughs> meet people. Yeah. yeah. So um, I mean, we, we are in Finland, you know, mm-hmm. and people who have been in Finland for like so many years at one point. Think, are thinking of like um, uh, having the Finnish nationality. Mm. So, but you know, with the immigration service, one of the one of the requirement to get the uh, to become a Finnish national, you mm-hmm. need to have this language. Um, you know, language. Uh, we we'll take this language exam, the key test, something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, what can you say about that? To, uh, I mean, about this key test, like how can people who want to take this test prepare for the test, mm-hmm. or like, where can they get materials to prepare themselves for it? Okay, so uh, it's important to know that there is one page, www.ophp.fi, where you can can find a, an information about about that okay. test. And there are also links in that page where you can prepare yourself. Okay. So again, there are a lot of materials in net. Okay. And there are also courses, uh, but nowadays, for example, in TAC, we don't provide any courses for grading to UK testing. Okay. But uh, there are there is a lot of things you can do yourself. Okay. Use language, read, listen, uh, try to speak, okay. and do different kind of practices in. Okay. Internet. I mean, you mentioned TAC. I mean, do you think that people someone who is working can their employer pay for their like language um, course in TAC? Mm. Uh, you can ask employers if they want to pay some training to you. They can buy it from TAC or some other institutions. Okay. But you must discuss with your employer. employer. Yes. Okay. So, but do you think that? Um, Employers should try to encourage um, their employees to like, mm. study the language. Yes, there are some working places uh, where they speak English as working language. Okay. Uh, but usually you need Finnish, and uh, it, it's very good that you ask for support okay. to learn Finnish mm-hmm. language. Okay. But I can't, I can't say <laughs> yeah, that yeah. they will pay. But you must. <laughs> Be brave enough to ask. Tell your boss that pay, just pay for money. You have to pay. <laughs> yes, yes. Like you must pay now. <laughs> But we have a long tradition to study in free times here in yeah. Finland. 
and almost every Finnish people study something in free yeah. time. Yeah. And we have um, Duervain Opisto, it's okay. it's institution uh, that provide many kinds of courses, okay. not only language courses, but uh, there you can uh, study to make a good food or to, uh, to do some uh, exercise. Well, or... ni- ni- amat- amat- no, it's not. It, it's um, it's free time study. Okay, okay, okay. So like ho- like our hobby. hobby. Okay, yes, hobby, okay. yes. Uh, most of Finnish people uh, love study. Uh, and they, they, their hobby is uh, actually studying something okay. in free times. Okay. Uh, we can study Spanish or French or English or something else in Työväen Opisto. Okay. And there is Työväen Opisto in many cities in Finland. Okay. Uh, so there are also Finnish courses okay. in different levels okay. and they pay. Uh, they cost a little, but not too much. Okay. They are quite cheap. Okay. And they are evenings. Okay, evening, yeah. In, in evening, because uh, they are for people who are working. Okay, okay. I see, I mean, I know that the language is, you, you learn from birth. I mean, it's your language, I mean, I didn't hear it. Yes. But you, you didn't just learn the language from birth, but you are... You are teaching the language to other people. Mm. So how do you feel about that, being a Finnish teacher for so long time? How do you feel? How has that impacted you? Now I didn't understand. You, you are doing a good job as a Finnish ah, language okay. teacher. Okay, yes, yeah. yes. You, you have, you, what you do is helping so many foreigners who come to Finland to learn. I mean, your techniques, your interaction with them. I mean, help them also to, 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 to study the language on their own, from mm. home and also from school. Mm-hmm. And how has that been? How has that been to you as a teacher for so long time, having this experience with these people who come in and out? Okay, it, it, uh, I I love my job. Okay. Job, it's very uh, interesting to meet people from different countries, and I I love to work with them. And always we find some way how people can learn. Okay. There are different ways. To learn and study, and we as a teacher know uh, many kind of uh, ways to to teach people, okay. and it pleased me a lot when I see someone is uh, is learning, and always everybody will learn okay. something. Okay. So if you if you want to to, to improve one thing. Mm-hmm. What is the learning process of the Finnish language? Or if you have to do something to improve the way in which people um, study the language, what will you do? Or what will you recommend that the, the Finnish government to do to improve the, the, the language you know, stuff that people can best This is quite language. sensitive question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you have so much experience in this field. Okay. So you, okay. you can you have something that you think that should be good should should have one, like more that people can do well, studying the language will like will be more, like more facilitating, something like that. I think we have good facilities, we have have good education, but if I can ask for something, I would ask a little bit more uh, longer courses. Okay. Because of course you need time to learn. Okay. Learning goes step by step. So uh, now it's uh, many courses are so short okay. uh, that it's not very easy okay. to learn in so fast. Um, like fast on the yeah. process of the learning. Yes, 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 of time. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And because they are short, courses are short. Uh, the it's it's so important that um, you you do something by your own. By your own okay. Yes. So you must use uh, internet or books, or you yeah. must be active. Absolutely. And we, as a teacher, can advise you uh, 
how you can improve your language by your own okay. after courses. Okay. But of course, there is good. Uh, mm, it's good that you first go to some course okay. because we are we teachers are professionals. Okay. We know what to do with you. I always ask this tricky question to my to my uh, my my guests. Mm -hmm. What what can you change if you have to change something? Oh, oh, something uh, with this, uh, something to do with language. Yeah, what will you change? If you have to because change? I want to change many things in the world. Okay, well, <laughs> just just take it, just take it, take it. Just now you have the opportunity to to like to say just three things. If I can wish something, it would be that. Every people should find the motivation inside them. Okay. I don't know how to do it. Maybe we can come up with, with a tech, like um, something like a tech um, finder that we, like something like a technology that will help tech. people tech finder that people can can you know, when you come to the language the class they, they can give you you put like a wristwatch and uh -huh. it helps you to. To reveal the language. No, I don't. I, I don't understand <laughs> that word. That word in English. Like the like uh, um technology. Like do you have a tech uh, a device uh, that someone can put like a wristwatch on on them to help them. So uh, so so I could put the language <laughs> yeah. to your head. I don't want it okay. to do this because I want to teach. Okay. I want to communicate. Okay. If I just put something <laughs> yeah. in your head, what is what, what should I do? Okay. How do I get a salary? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was just a, that was busy. That was a okay, I understand. <laughs> I understand. Okay. But teaching and learning is so interesting. Yeah. That I don't to I I don't want to have that kind of technique wiggle. Yeah, and the person will just be like a robot. It means you yes. know, she won't really be learning the language mm. on, on their own. Yes. So if you want if you have to say something to our viewers right now, mm. what will you say to encourage someone who is studying a Finnish language or someone who wants to prepare for the big things? What will you say to them at this moment to encourage Okay. Them? You must trust yourself and you must find your motive own motivation and and remember that learning is interesting and you will learn, take your time, but you will learn, everybody will learn. I mean, she said it all, trust yourself, have motivation and, you know, encourage yourself. I always say this, if you say you want to do something, first of all, you have to motivate yourself. You have to tell yourself that you are capable of doing this. And once you motivate yourself, then you find yourself doing what you want to do. And I'm saying this as, as an experience, of course I have experience with this. Mm -hmm. When I studied the Finnish language, I didn't know anything. It's because I had effort, I put effort, I told myself that I can do this. So I struggled with it, with it. and despite the challenges that people tell me is so difficult, right now I can, I can be proud, or I, I'm proud to say I, can, I understand the Finnish, at least 70% of Finnish language. Mm -hmm. So I'm proud to say that. And it's just for one year, what if I go, Two, three, five years. Yes, yes. I mean, I'll, I'll become and like you will like, improve your language like all you. your life. It's a long life because process. I want to be like you. <laughs> I want to speak like you. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you want to be like me. <laughs> no, not like be like you. Speak like you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that I understand. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> so, Hauska. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I want to speak English like you. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay. Sure. Anyway, viewers, I'm so happy that you guys joined us today. I mean, it was wonderful to have Rita here with me. I'm so glad you came today. Thanks, Lord. It was a pleasure to be here. I'm so happy that I came. Okay. <laughs> Thank you are my you are my student. Yeah, thanks so much. You were. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just, um, don't forget to share this. You know, share this. Someone who is what who is who is out there might benefit from this. You know, information. Someone who I mean, it, it might be your friend or it might be someone in your friend list who is trying to do the uh, like to study the Finnish language or someone who is abroad want to come to Finland. I mean, this information can help them to get lots of information about where to, where to go and get information to study the Finnish language. And right now, in fact, 
we have to go because Rita is a busy person and she has to go to our destination. Have a nice day. Bye bye. <laughs> and look, links. Yeah, don't forget about the don't forget to check the links on below the, the, the video. I mean it's gonna help you so um, so much mm. to get information. So I think that's all we have for the Oh yes, right now. yes. Okay. Thank you and have a nice day. May God bless you all. Bye bye. God bless you.